Good morning, everybody. Time for a coffee. I know, it's so weird. You never get a coffee in the morning. Oh, you guys teasing me. It's about routine. I need it to wake up. And then I'm going to go and get um, some goggles. Because I, I think I want to put on my contacts for swimming. We're going to go to the Y. Hopefully, if that smoke from the fire that they had is cleared out, then I can get in there, get a membership. Payne's volunteering today some Humane Society thing at some place, some pet store or something like that. So while she's doing that, I'm gonna go for a swim, hopefully. But I'm gonna get a uh, like a, a beach towel or something like that, and then some goggles so I can put my contacts in and swim. Because if I go in there without glasses, I'm gonna be blind. I know some people can wear glasses, but it's a pain in the butt. I don't like swimming with glasses, it's just, it's a pain. So that's what I want to do and go for a swim. Even though it's raining out, there's no excuses. Anyway, I'm going to get my coffee. Coffee time. Mm. Oh, that's hot. Oh, I forgot. I want to show you. This is my this first time I'm wearing one of my new sh socks and they're super colorful. It's weird. I know my pants are colorful and I'm wearing a black shirt, but it's a Dumb and Dumber shirt. E -er, I'm with Dumber. E -er. Look at these. Look at these puppies. Holy, holy colorful argyle socks. Yellow on the bottom, a little bit of the pink tip. Hello, it's like a finger. Go over there. Th that way. <laughs> anyway, I gotta go get some work done. Oh, as soon as I'm done my coffee. It's a bit gloomy out, you guys can see. Not, not, whoop. Oh, cause people, what's wrong with you guys? Your eyes aren't good this morning? And eh, it's a bit watery. But, like I said before, I'm going to be going to the Y for a swim. I think I'm not going to, because I, I haven't swam in like a long time, other than up the cottage, which is like once or twice a year, my buddy's cottage up north. Um, so I'm going to start with like half an hour or 45 minutes around there. But I can go any time, and I can go five days a week. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to work out, give myself the weekends off, and then, you know, work out or, you know, exercise Monday through Friday, you know, and then just relax on the weekend. It's not like, unless I'm doing a weight regime, which I'm not planning on starting at all, then you gotta, you can't do that every single day because you gotta give your muscles time to relax. But anyway, I won't be doing that anytime soon. I gotta drink my coffee. Do you mind? All right, I'm gonna go and, uh, I'm gonna go and drop off the applications and get the membership for the Y. Even though Pam's got all of her information on there, hopefully it doesn't have to have information because she had to go and do some volunteer work. Uh, as I mentioned, I don't know if I mentioned yesterday or today. I don't know, whatever. Anyway, I just got a package. I, I've got to get it and then hurry on back because I'm expecting, expecting a package uh, from Maker Studios. It's my pay. And I, I know they can just leave it and they'll leave a note and say, hey, go here. I don't like doing that. When that check comes, I like getting it and that's that's it. I mean, I may be able to hit the bank too if it's not too late, depending on when it comes here. I just like to get it get it done with, you know, and, and deal with that stuff there. So I gotta rush back here. Hopefully I get it early because that way I can still go swimming. But I got this package and first of all, I'm gonna show you. I got a package and it was it had my name on it. It was addressed to me. So I was like, oh, did I order something from from Teesprings or whatever. No, it wasn't for me. It was Pam. She ordered herself a, a t-shirt. And uh, let's see if we can see that. Oh, come on, focus. Good girls go to heaven, bad girls ride with Jax. I don't know if you guys know what that is. That's Sons of Anarchy. You know, Jax, the super hot, tough guy. I hate him. I'm just kidding. I like the show. Obviously, she likes it too. And then we've got, uh, I'm not going to show you the, my address or anything like that, but this, uh, this is this box. I'm not going to open that up. Uh, there's my name on there. No, it might be Pam's name. Pam's name, is it? Yeah, it's on her name anyway. I know what it is. It's Jake's uh, stone. We got him a memorial stone for the garden. So I'm not going to open that. I, I know Pam would want to open that, so I'm going to leave that. But anyway, I got to go get 
I gotta get dressed and uh, go get the membership for the Y so that hopefully I can go swimming this afternoon. Wouldn't that be awesome? Woo! I did it, I finally got a membership at the Y. Look at that. Look at that criminal, eh? You and me, we're gonna go and work out. I know, I love it. Don't make me do it. I'm really fat and lazy. <laughs> He's rude, isn't he? Yes, but I got it and Pam and all the other kids have to get their pictures taken as well, but I really have to go pee right now. But more importantly, I've got to get some, the, the grocery store is like right down the street there. So I'm gonna get some meat for the barbecue um, this evening. I need some meat, please. That or some fish. I don't know, I haven't decided yet. It's so exciting. At the same time, my back teeth are floating because I have to go pee so bad. So let's get going. Time for some lunch. I just got home. This is what I opted for dinner. Asparagus, ooh, I love asparagus, but it makes your pee smell. Yeah, not everybody apparently. It doesn't affect everybody. It certainly affects me. And it affects Pam. FYI, too much information? A little bit too much? Yes, all right. Note to self, don't talk about stinky pee in future vlogs. Done. And then I got this. Ooh, this is delish. Sweet chili lime butterflied pork tenderloin. It's so good, it's so tender, so delicious, so much flavor. Barbecue that sucker. <laughs> yes, please. Yes, we got some avocados there. And then uh, I'm gonna be snacking on some of this. So this is lunch, not the dip, not the dip. That's for the kids. Oh, I, I wanna tell you guys that too, because if some of you have been following, you know I'm like, on Twitter I asked, hey, do you have any tips, tips and tricks? Because here's the thing, I don't like diets. I don't like, like when I say I'm changing my diet, I'm not, it's not, when people are like, oh, you shouldn't do diet, diets are bad. Um, actually, your diet is what you eat every day. It's not that it's bad. When you're talking about fad diets, like, I'm eating an all cabbage soup. I've seen people do that. I think my mother did that once. Mom, if you watch this, it's, you know, here's the thing. Those diets are bad because they're not sustainable. They're, they're way too hard. Sure, you crash your body and everything like that, but the time you go back, you're so hungry, you start going back and you're eating, you're eating crap. It's gotta be something long-term. So thanks to, yet again, if you're watching this, Roberto, he always helps me out. He gives me ones that he's, you know, that are realistic for me. And this one's the best one. I don't mind, it's every night I'm having like nice barbecued vegetables and a, and a meat, chicken, pork, uh, steak. Uh, what else did I have on there before? You guys know, I showed it to you before. I can't remember, but it's delicious. Oh, salmon, salmon and trout. I love all that stuff. Oh man, that's not suffering to me. So through Monday through, or Sunday rather, Sunday through Friday, just pure healthy food, healthy good food, you know? Vegetables, you know, I have a, a bowl of oatmeal I know. I know, Roberto, no carbs during the week, but I love oatmeal and oatmeal's not really that bad. I know it's a bit of carbs, but with me exercising, it should be fine. So I have a bowl of oatmeal in the morning, no sugar, not the instant ones. I, I did have one of those before, but it's too much sugar in it. So I just have plain oatmeal in the morning, good fiber, uh, vegetables, snacking on vegetables whenever I want, just all day long, you know, whenever I'm hungry to make sure that I'm not getting hungry, always eating. And then at night, I, you know, I, I saute some vegetables, put some pepper, a little bit of that on there. It's sometimes a little bit of olive oil on it, just so that they don't stick and burn and stuff and then barbecued meat, I mean, what's, the, what's wrong with that? And then on the weekend, here's the amazing part. This is for me why it's long-term sustainable. It's about changing how healthy you eat on the weekend, and I'm all about moderation, friends. I'm all about moderation. I'm also all about cheeseburgers. And on Saturdays, you can, you can take it to the bank, I'll be eating a cheeseburger. So I mean, once a week, I go out and I can have a cheeseburger, you know, watch a movie with the kids, have some popcorn, chips and dip, whatever and then stick with that exercise. And I figure the weekends I'm, I'm taking off, uh, I'm gonna try my best. Obviously things like today and, and what happens, you know, I, I can't do much about it. This is just because I'm waiting for my paycheck, which is obviously mucho importante. Um, but once that's done, I'll have no excuse whether it's raining or not because I'll be going to the pool. That's really what I wanted to do. So the pool, Monday through Friday, hopefully, unless anything pops up, and then weekends I take off and Saturdays I get, it's anything can happen Saturdays. 
How can you not sustain that? I gotta have pizza, I gotta have burgers once a week? Come on. Beautiful. No cabbage soup crap, no Weight Watchers, no pills, no herbal magic. All that stuff is crap. I'm sorry if you're on it, but you're wasting your money. You Honestly, it's, it's not sustainable. I've seen people do it, and I know how much they've spent on it, and I've seen it backfire on them bad, and I'm like, man. It, it's because it's just, it's not, it's too expensive, and it's not sustainable. So, anyway, that's it. Enough rambling on. I'm not chastising you. Do whatever you want. I don't care. This, for me, is is perfect. I like it. It doesn't feel like I'm suffering at all. Granted, I just started, but tomorrow, <laughs> cheeseburger. <laughs> oh, I'm going to get you. How was school? Good. Why do you have a candy cane? How old is that thing? It's got to be super old, eh? Are you sneaking by? I found it. It was stuck to my bum the entire... I found it under the bus seat. Hey, Liam, let me see your... Let's show people your scars. They don't actually look too bad. They were bleeding. Oh, look at that. Here, come on this side. No, no, over here. No, just stand there. So we got that one there. He got them. It was from boots. Okay. Well, they know, they know. And then the, the one here. And then all on that side as well. And then one on my ear. One on your ear as well. What? Oh, really? somewhere there. Oh. Boots, you were a naughty boy. You're We'd... getting no presents. I, I know. He, he didn't mean it. That's the first time he's ever done anything like that to any of us. I was more scared for your safety than, than that. But Boots, hey, you be a good boy. This this guy is usually so passive. Like he's the most he's the most relaxed cat in the world. And then he just freaked out. Look at this. No thanks. We don't want any. Would you like to borrow a cu cup of sugar? Look at this. Hi, pretty boy. We got. Hey, come on inside before Boots gets out. We don't want the same thing, buddy. You can't see me. I'm invisible. I may not be able to see you, but I sure can smell you. Poo poo. No, you can't. You can smell my spark, bro. Oh, he's nasty. Yeah, last night I'm giving, I'm putting you in down to bed. For like giving him a kiss good night, so I was getting in there and he was all like hunched up on his, on his like knees and his hands, and I was trying to like get him and wrestle him so it, my head was right near his butt and I was in, <laughs> right in my face and someone thought it was the funniest thing ever. <laughs> hey, oh payback, payback's gonna come in the form of of crazy gas. And you, oh. oh. Imagine what my. I got another. Yeah, yours are really yeah. bad, Cal. I'm glad you didn't do that. <laughs> You and don't push too hard. You ended up filling your pants. That's uh, crapping it. Look, Jake's uh, stone came. His <gasps> memorial stone. Don't open it though. Mom's gonna open that up. Oh, poor <gasps> Liam. Tomorrow we go out. To the Y. Well, no, we can't. That's not to the Y. But you guys gotta get your memberships. Tomorrow we go out. Cheeseburgers. We go out for dinner. Cheeseburgers, fries. During the week, we eat healthy. On Saturday. <laughs> Oh, Mr. Cheeseburger, you're gonna taste so good. Oh, yeah. Good night, Liam. Aren't you gonna say good night to everyone? Yeah, after I go pee. Lovely. Say good night to everybody, Cal. Say good night. Eat diapers. Eat diapers? Is that what you just said? You gonna go for breakfast with us tomorrow? You have no choice. We're all going anyway. I am. We're gonna go out for breakfast. It's gonna be delicious. And maybe, I don't know for sure, but maybe in the afternoon, I might, if, if Pam goes to the Humane Society, if there's an open swim, I might take Cal, Ewan, and Liam to the swimming pool. Then we're gonna go, we'll go for a swim in the air. Would you like to go swimming tomorrow? Yeah. Yeah? But I don't know. Yeah. It, it, well, you'll be in the shallow end. Okay, don't worry about it. So we'll see you guys tomorrow. Maybe we'll go for a swim, yeah? Oh, swim times. See you guys tomorrow. Squish your head.